it is your Pavi post and welcome to Pavi post tutorials and here is a email blacklist video so in this video we will be talking about email blacklist and what are email blacklists so this will be a four parter video uh, there are there will be more video coming in the future so please check out the description link below uh, so let's go on forward from this uh, what is email blacklist so first of all email blacklist is just a list of ip addresses so ip addresses what kind of ip addresses so these IP addresses are those that are being marked as being a really bad email history. So in maybe a few previous years, they have been sending really bad kind of spam emails or unopted, non-opted emails. So that kind of emails are marked as blacklist and uh, services like ISPs, ESPs and uh, anti-spam agents use this. So ESPs, what are ESPs? So ESPs are like email service providers. They are like every post. So you are using these services to send mass emails to your email uh, to your uh, email list, and uh, these services use them to identify spammers in their uh, spammers that are their users, so they can remove them. ISPs are those services like Google, Yahoo. So these services do not want any kind of bad emails landing in their uh, users' inbox accounts. So they make sure by using the blacklist. And ISPs do have do have their own blacklist, their own private blacklist, uh, but they use both. They use the third party blacklist too and their blacklist too in order to maintain the uh, filtration process. Anti-spam engines are these ones that refers this list to remove the spam emails that might be coming a lot. And so they will be removing them before they reach their inbox. So let's know more about the NSPLs. So DNSBL is not a single list. So it's not a single, uh, you know, site. You can go there and just download all kind of list and everything in the world. So there is not a single list that every kind of service provider use. There are hundreds of these DNSB services. And uh, so you can uh, just make sure that you are not available in most of them. Uh, to check that, let's go to the multi RBL site and uh, we can see in, in, if you click on uh, infos about all RBLs, so they will show you a list of RBLs that are live, uh, like Abuse Mix, uh, Barracuda, uh, Hot Schema, Mill Spike, Bar uh, Sorbs, SARBL. So these are some of the sites that are uh, live now. So this site maintains the uh, currently working list of the uh, DNS RBLs. Uh, here are some of the dead links which they are not reading right now. So this site maintains it and there are many sites that, are, that will maintain this uh, so that they can check up from it. But as you can see, there, are not, there is not a single one that are, there are hundreds of these uh, websites to check from. So uh, many anti-spam organizations you maintain their independent DNSBLs. So man, there are anti-spam organizations that have their own list and their own methods of determining how who to classify as a blacklister and blacklister. Uh, these services are mostly free to use, like I've mentioned in my, uh, so this, uh, I've mentioned these services as some of the most prominent ones. And most of them are free. They are free for public use. You can use it uh, uh, without any charges. You have to register uh, although into them because uh, after registering, you can get some more details about you know your email message details and some kind of how why your message was dropped and delivery details so you, you have to log in for that but most of the time they are free and some of them do require licenses for the bigger forms so every isp have their own version like i said uh, similar to anti-spam organizations isps have their own versions their own method of determining who is uh, a really bad sender uh, who needs to be removed or who needs to be kept for send allow who needs to be allowed to be sent into the inbox so these kind of things isp use and they have their own algorithms and with their own uh, policies to determine what to do if they are blacklisted so if, even if you are blacklisted that doesn't mean you have be, will be dropped immediately but uh, that depends on uh, organization to organization and service provider to service provider so here are some of the list i have uh, i have gathered of more the most prominent one you can check out uh, so if you are in doubt or if you want to check any uh, kind of listing first you should you should go through these kind of these uh, services to check your uh, email blacklisting ip blacklisting so if your server is blacklisted then um, these services might have an answer 
So what happens is that when you send an email, your email there is a server who sends the email. So that server is an IP, and that IP is listed into these uh, these uh, services. Once you you know once it more your activities track to be a really harmful one. Also, your domain name there is a domain name like xyz.com. You send your email through a domain name, right? Uh, info at the something dot com. So that domain name has an IP address to it, and domain name can be listed into it. So if you are sending like uh, xyz dot com and you are sending a lot of emails to xyz dot com, that xyz dot com can be listed into the blacklist. Uh, so you have to make sure just to maintain and monitor your activities and have a clean sending habits. So thank you guys. This is the first video in this in this tutorial list, and please check out the description box below to check out the tutorial link in which we have explained everything in detail. So. You can check that, and also it will contain a lot, a list of the videos, related videos related to email market, email blacklist, and uh, yeah, you can check them out to remove email blacklist or know more about email blacklists. Okay, so so yeah, guys, bye for now, and I'll check out from here.